I got a lot of hats. So we're gonna make a hat rack. So we got Home Depot special here. Might be able to get a supply house or somewhere else, but I'm a Home Depot guy. So we're gonna do two of these, which I am using half inch black pipe. I got two of them. It's called a street elbow. And I got two of these. It's called a foot foot flange. So put it together like so. Put it on the end. Screw it up to my fancy mirror I got here. And then I will show you when it's all done. Now I attach mine to a IKEA mirror. But there you go. Now you could use this pole for a bunch of different things. If you wanted to, you could do the same thing up top, smaller. And they sell smaller lengths at Home Depot. And you can also get them to cut it to the length you want. And then you could have a towel rack up here. So real quick, you can buy this on Amazon. This is Velcro. So these are my work hats. So I just put, you know, four of them on there. Put five of them on there, whatever you want to do. I cut, I cut these straight across. All right, so I, my wife bought two of these on Amazon, and they came with all these clips. Um, I cut them straight across here. This is a Velcro strap. I actually, um, what do you call it? I actually kept four because these are my work hats. That I really, you know, they're off to the side. I'm not trying to, not that I'm trying to show off my hats, but you know, I like to be able to see the hats easy, what I'm getting and whatnot. But anyway, so then I got two big old hats here off the end. So here it is, finished product. And I don't know if you noticed it, but I got some of them doubled up. You know, I got Phillies hats. I got two of them doubled up. I got uh, one of my girls' softball teams, two of them doubled up. So you could double them up on top of each other. But I don't know. It's a pretty cool finished product, though, I'd say.